Welcome to the first episode of our new series, 10 for 10. This is a new series from WatchGecko that sets out to inform you, the viewer, of 10 different watches branching over 10 different categories. Each watch combined offers an extremely versatile, enjoyable and rounded collection, all together coming in at a value less than £10,000. Some watches may be expensive, some may be extremely affordable, but together they can all come in at less than 10000 Stay tuned to the channel and also the WatchGecko blog for regular new episodes over the coming weeks. To start with, our first category is something which every collection needs. People add watches to their collection for many different reasons, however we believe everyone needs an everyday watch. Something that is reliable and has a pick up and go style to it. The first thing we should really define is what makes an everyday watch. For me, it's a timepiece which can be worn in a range of different situations associated with a normal everyday situation. Whether it be putting on your suit for a day at the office, getting down to the gym for a lunchtime session of fitness, or relaxing with friends and family after work. The everyday watch needs to be able to handle it all without looking out of place or feeling uncomfortable. With this in mind, in steps the Club Date 731 from Nomos. The 731 aims to offer consumers a modern, simple, highly legible design watch, making us reconsider ideas of how a sporty timepiece should look. This robust piece seems to have all the traits to easily handle any everyday situation, naturally making it the ideal pick for this category. The watch features a galvanised white silver plated dial, complemented with deep black lacquered style hands, really assisting the overall legibility of the watch. Combine this with a red inlay on those long hands, use of red on the minutes track, and you're left with a simple yet certainly unique design. The name of the game with Nomos, and naturally the club date, is robust, sporty legibility. The uncluttered design makes this watch perfect for quick glances to the wrist throughout the day. It's fair to say this won't be the last time we talk about this watch's legibility. The case on the 731 is fully polished stainless steel, and features a slightly domed sapphire crystal. And when we say slightly, we, we really mean it. This benefits the watch's desire to be thin almost twofold when compared to other crystal options out there. For strap changing fans, the watch comes in with 20mm lugs, making it ideal for a range of replacement watch straps. The watch also comes with 100m water resistance, meaning any of those day to day tasks the watch will be able to handle in its stride with ease. This version of the club date comes with a date window at 6 o'clock position, and a sub dial sitting just above, keeping track of the seconds. Many watches have a date at 6, however they will be limited by how far down the dial the date can sit because of the movement. This can result in watches with date windows almost floating in the region of 6 o'clock. For Nomos, not an issue at all. Date changes happen right at the bottom of the dial, and this is helped massively by the movement used. Powering the club date is the DUW4101 movement. This is a manual wound movement from Nomos, producing up to 42 hours of power reserve. This is ideal for everyday wear, and the benefit of being manually wound is all it needs is a little wind every now and then to keep it topped up. The movement also feels extremely rock solid and reliable. I love the addition of a manually wound movement, as to me, this is a feature synonymous with Nomos. The epitome of simple design, all powered by an incredibly reliable movement. Nomos started their production purely focusing on manually wound movements for the first 15 years or so of its life. Ever since 2005, not only did they decide to offer automatic movements, but also have them all purely in-house. Just 10 years later, in 2010, Nomos had introduced their 10th in-house calibre, the DUW3001. You may not have heard of DUW mentioned on other videos talking about movements, but let me explain. Nomos had a desire to become purely independent, and as close as they were, in 2007 they weren't quite there. The missing link was their escapements. Watch aficionados will already understand, without an escapement, well, you don't have a working watch. So, with the help of the Technical University of Dresden, an investment of time and money, the final escapement, the Nomos Swing System, was announced. This new system was announced in the form of the Metro model in 2014 at Baselworld. Two years after this milestone in the company's history, Nomos focused on upgrading its calibre range with said swing system and to roll it out to all models. Calibres that receive this upgrade are all officially honoured with DUW at the beginning of the movement reference. DUW standing as a final touch to crown the movement as truly in-house. And if you were wondering, DUW directly translates to German Clockworks in English. Not too shabby for a company only 30 years old. All of this impressive watchmaking is available in a watch that's 38.5mm wide and with a height of just 8.4mm. These perfect dimensions result in a watch which is vastly impressive on the wrist. Many watches when strapped to the wrist almost feel like they're not there after some time. This way of thinking has never been more true than with a 731. The 8.4mm thickness leaves you pondering, how did they even manage to make a mechanical watch this thin at this price point? If you have a wrist size of 7 inches or more, don't be put off by the 38.5mm size. You'll find the 731 wears well on the wrist, not giving off the illusion of being too small. The dial harness is an almost California dial layout, with each indice in a dark grey. A great choice as it's always extremely visible, and sometimes even looking black in certain light. Legibility. See, we just can't avoid talking about it. This is something clearly Nomos go for. 
And wearing the piece in a range of different situations, lighting and environment, this concept is only reiterated. After a considerable amount of on-wrist time with a club date, one of many things that jumped out to me was that silver dial. In certain angles it almost looks like a warm yellow tone. It's not just that silver dial that looks incredible when the light hits it. When you catch the light just right on those deep black finished hands, the craftsmanship and German precision is paramount. As mentioned previously, the way Nomus have positioned the date window at 6 means it doesn't break the symmetry of the watch at all, and stays very much on brand. However, they've also managed to keep their watches on trend and popular, as it seems the market favours watches with dates. Nomos are clearly a company who understand who their customer is, something which is commonly overlooked. As you know by now, changing out the strap can really give a watch a completely different look. And, as expected, deciding on a few strap options for the 731 was a pleasure. Before we start, it's worth mentioning how good the standard Nomos strap is. The strap on this version of the Club Date is a handmade shell cordovan strap. The stitching perfectly matches the red accents on the dial, looking right at home. With this in mind, I think we can really build on this thought process with our suggestions. Let's begin. First up is something I believe could have equally been a standard strap with the 731, based purely on how well it works. This brand new Painswick leather strap added to our Gakota range works perfectly. It harnesses a lovely distressed effect on the leather, matching the style of the 731 extremely well. In terms of colour options, well, all of them work pretty well. However, I think the grey is the strongest. It really complements that silver dial and picks up on the grey indices. The strap has the added bonus of quick release spring bars as well, much easier for quick strap changes. Next up, I followed the same principle as Nomos did with a shell cordovan strap. This is our contoured Italian leather in a reddish brown. It's a similar size and taper compared to the previous strap, but because it's a reddish brown pull-up leather, it not only matches the red additions on the dial, but will also age and develop as you wear it. You also get a slight amount of padding also running through the strap, which really assists the everyday wearability. Next, I thought I'd change it up a bit. This is our oblique mesh strap, once again from the Kokota range. Metal straps are always very desirable, however a mesh strap specifically further plays on the watch's youthful and clean aesthetic. This strap comes in just under 3mm thick, so perfect for the 8.4mm club date case. Most importantly, this oblique mesh is really comfortable. A great way of making an already unique watch even more so. Finally, along the same lines as the mesh, we have our iridescent NATO. Once again, grey is the colour to go for here, respecting those indices and putting emphasis on the use of colour on the dial. Majority of the time, I found myself going for the Painswick strap in that grey. But equally, all of the above combos work really well. So, why is this the everyday watch choice to go for? Well, to start with, the watch's versatility shines through. The watch received wrist time in a range of different situations and environments and took them all in its stride. The 731 is a pinnacle of simplicity and clarity, which is essential for an everyday watch. At a quick glance you need to be able to tell the time and go on with your day. The silver dial means the watch doesn't have to worry about reflections or fingerprints and it also acts as some sort of optical illusion, making it feel just that little bit larger. If you're in the market for a present day sporty piece, which is both practical, stylish and has a genuine unique design, at this price point the club date is an unquestionably rock solid option. The 731 Club Date from Nomos is currently available on their website for £1,620. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank Nomos for sending this watch out to us for review and to be featured in this new series. If you're interested in learning more about the Club Date, we'll leave a link to their website and social media platforms in the description below. Stay tuned to the channel for the next episode of 10 for 10, where we explore another great watch that is perfect in creating a well-rounded collection. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.